So what's up already, Black Clover 3, 45 spoilers are out and this chapter is looking extremely fire. We get a little bit more insight as to Asta, why he was basically weak against Ichiga and also this new Ryuzen. We still haven't gotten the name of this guy yet, who is the strongest apparently out of all of them. However, we kind of figure out why Asta felt like he was a little bit nerfed. And Tabata did a really well explanation as to why Asta feels like he's a little handicapped. Also, sorry for the long wait y'all i literally needed the mental break i was going through so much in my life but i'm back doing the spoilers gonna do the reviews hopefully i can start doing more mangas especially on this channel but regardless of that let's get into these dope black clover 345 spoilers First of all, if you like anime, manga reviews, discussion, spoilers, and theories, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video. So issue with me some false copyright strikes. So let's get this channel back to 5,000. I want to appreciate y'all for rocking with me through the whole entire drama, everything. And y'all still stay with me, even though I took a break. That is crazy. Much love for y'all. I really respect y'all. Like, you have no idea how much y'all grateful I am for you guys. You know, hopefully I can give up my job soon and I can focus on this channel full time. Enough of that, because I know you guys are all here for the actual chapter for the actual spoilers you don't want to hear my sob story so this chapter is looking really good tabata has made it clear as to why asta has been feeling weak lately a lot of us as in the fandom we're kind of feeling like why is asta feel like he's being nerfed well tabata answered it in this chapter from the few pages that i've seen translated it's basically asta having self-doubt and a lot of us have dealt with that you know when we're dealing with self-doubt we start to question ourselves and it really limits us and that's basically what's happening with asta asta is putting limits on himself mentally so he can't really go full out on people and can't really go his full strength which makes a lot of sense i mean like a lot of us weren't liking the power scaling in this arc so far and tabata did a really good way of explaining as to why asta feels weaker it's because he's in that moment of questioning himself and the reason why he's questioning himself is because it's his failure towards saving sister lily and you know sister lily is somebody very important to asta obviously that's basically his love interest slash mother figure and let's not get into that topic but you know Asta's kind of a mill hunter but regardless you know it's really cool to see that even during this time Asta being as powerful he is there's still a lot more character progression for Asta and I like that narratively so I'm basically gonna read the few panels that have been translated and then I'm gonna basically explain what's going on in my perspective so the strongest Ryu 7 is basically saying at this rate your Zetan will never be perfect as you are hesitating and Asta's like I'm not hesitating because you know obviously he's in self-doubt what is it called the multiple process of grief because obviously he lost sister lily in his eyes right now he's in a stage of denial the strongest ryu 7 says you fool one katana does not lie so it's basically kind of like that typical manga trope where swords are able to talk to each other and people can understand each other through swords you can kind of understand that especially if you're fighting somebody when they're holding back the strongest ryu 7 says hey you're holding back like i can tell he continues saying hesitating in using your katana your hesitation hesitation in your faith that's where you and i differ there's nothing that my katana cannot cut i'm able to slash everything in my eyes and then asta goes to the next stage of acceptance saying that yes he's right i am hesitating i could not protect sister lily he was basically done in by lucius he was impatient that he can no longer be any stronger he couldn't have win against ichiga this current me cannot become the wizard king that's a really deep conversation to have with yourself especially when you're trying to perfect zetan asta's being a little bit hard on himself but it's good that he's accepting that hey he's holding back he's hesitating he doesn't feel confident like he was before even though he's talking this talk his swords his movements aren't actually matching the line as to how he truly feels i really like that the narrative went this route because like i said before it shows more character progression on asta seeing him to develop to asta what he was before in terms of no matter what's in front of him he's going to continue fighting no hesitation i can see that happening it's just like lucius is a great villain the best way to defeat somebody is defeating the spirit and that's basically what lucius just tried doing not only did he try killing him he tried to destroy his spirit which is what a villain should do and then asa starts thinking about you know he says as for him perhaps he could have protected sister lily perhaps he wouldn't have lost against lucius he made it to the grand magical night before me and even now he continues to grow stronger and i really like the relationship between you know and asta how asta always looks up to you know even though he sees him as a rival he's trying to be as equal to him he always looks up to him like somewhat of you know like a brother but not a big 
big brother just somebody that's ahead of him you know actually thinks the same thing of asta but the whole society probably looks at you know and says hey you know you're ahead at first glance you know looks like he's ahead of asta and he's better than asta in every category but if you really look down to it asta is you know's true motivation because think about it asta had not much going on for him he didn't have magical powers he didn't have a grimoire basically at the beginning of the story until recently but you know sees asta as a way of motivation so i really like that dynamic between them that both of them look up to each other i can't wait till these dialogues are officially translated because this chapter looks like it's going to be very character development heavy all right now on to the non-translated pages so you see asta and ryu and it looks like ichiga are basically talking basically what happened after asta and ichiga were fighting we're getting more revealed after that fight between asta and ichiga looks like ryu says something to asta ichiga just looks completely mad <laughs> she looks like yami's basically little sister just mad at you know in the background you do see kind of like a tree and then a couple of shrines and it's all down like stairs and it's all leading to like this tree so usually that means that whatever that tree is has to do something with divinity so that tree is going to be important i wonder what that's about and then you see asta and the strongest ryu seven fighting each other he kind of has this crazy look on his face similar to jack the ripper and asta's just flying backwards the guy slashes asta dodges and everything behind him is cut asta looks scared and he's just basically running away from the strongest ryu seven and that guy grabs asta by the neck and it looks like he's gonna do one final blow it looks like he does some type of dialogue to asta basically probably telling him that what i said before it's probably the beginning of of him letting him know that hey there's something off with you you're not giving me your full strength asta is in his devil union it looks like he's in his partial devil union it doesn't look like he's in his full devil union would that affect him from fighting against the five-headed dragon because the five-headed dragon is there is it going to be a problem and then you see the guy in the background and i think he's probably the other ryu seven that we're missing but he has a cat on his shoulder which is beyond epic and he has a banjo kind of like basically playing music and he has kind of like like that hat he gives that vibe of kind of like a layback person similar to the flower guy from bleach so that's very interesting and he says something and it looks like the cat can talk too which is crazy i'm really digging that cat though i'm not gonna lie like that cat on his shoulder <laughs> this dude got some style i'll tell you that asta and the other ryu seven are starting to fight each other again and he says something i'm not entirely sure what he says after that the panels are basically seeing what we saw before so the strongest ryu seven actually cut asta but he cut him so much that like literally everything behind them got cut as well so and then you go back to where sister lily and the other ryu seven are fighting that fight a dragon and then that girl that kind of looked like she's shy that other female ryu seven that we haven't really been introduced yet she looks scared but looks like she has a different personality she does a whole 180 because she went from being shy to looking crazy <laughs> She has that crazy look in her face as well as Jack the Ripper, so. But she attacks Sister Lily, and Sister Lily looks a little bit shocked. So, let's see where that goes. But yeah, the spoilers are fire. I really enjoyed it. Once again, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really love y'all, for real. This chapter is looking epic. Let me know what you think about the spoilers. Let me know what you think about Black Clover 345. Moving forward, do you think Asta's gonna get his groove back? Or he's gonna still have some self-doubt, but it's not going to be to the point where he hesitate on everything he does how do you think asta is going to get back his confidence do you think that guy with the cat on his shoulder is the ryu 7 that we're missing like if you like the video comment subscribe and i'm out of here